Hello, this is Cycle 2, Week 15 Science. This is Experiment 164, Bottle Organ, in uh, Van Cleve's book. This is a, a kind of fun a demonstration, and uh, the students will immediately uh, recognize this demonstration, uh, and you will too, and, and they will have fun uh, doing it, and I know that you will uh, as well. So in order to set up this experiment, you need six identical containers. I'm using our, um, our, our, our small glasses. Um, jars, of course, would work uh, as well. Anything, as long as they're the same size. And then into each uh, container, I've, I've added a specific amount of water so that I have one container that has the most water, and then, per, then um, different levels of water in each one, uh, all the way down to here where I have a container that has the least uh, water. That's the basic setup that you need in order to um, do this demonstration and in order to show uh, the principles of what's going on. This is another demonstration about uh, sound waves uh, and, and it's a lot of fun. So uh, once you set it up like this, then you need a spoon um, or another object that you're going to use and you're going to let the students use to strike um, each container. So I'm using this plastic spoon uh, in our demonstration. So some questions that you can start with are, uh, why do we have different levels of water? I don't know, some of the older students may say something like, to produce a different sound. And that, that's right, that's the basic idea. To, to produce a different, specifically though, scientifically, to produce a different frequency of sound waves is what we're doing. Um, so you can lead them in that direction. So if we, if we have different sounds, you, you could, I would start in the middle, but maybe strike one and show the students makes a specific sound. So if I, if I go here, different sound. Which container has the highest pitch sound? Which one has the lowest pitch sound? Would be definitely a good question to ask. Let the students all pick. You could even number them if you wanted and have them vote. Uh, the, and, so, and then you can illustrate to them that um, the, the, the container that has the, the lowest amount of water has a much higher pitch sound than the container that has uh, the, the most water. Um, if you're looking at this video as we're showing it, you may notice that that the, the difference in the levels of water of each glass, it, it's not a very constant change. I, I've adjusted it afterwards. We're gonna talk about that in just a second. To start your demonstration, you could effectively pour like half an inch of water into one and, and maybe six inches of water into another and then kind of step it down in pretty equal increments. And it might help the students to see. Um, what's going on because you can still illustrate the point that again the, the, the smaller amount of water the higher the pitch compared it's a neat neat um, illustration so uh, bef before we we go into some extra things you could do let's talk about exactly what's happening here why are we making sound at all do we need the water to make the sound we don't need the water to make the sound um, we, we talked in in, um, in week 13 that if you make the glass vibrate you can make sound, you can generate sound by, gener by vibrating the glass molecules. And that's kind of what's going on here, right? That is what's going on here. I, I'm, I'm vibrating the glass to produce that sound. So why do I need the water? I need it to change how much vibration I'm giving to the glass. Because as I change how much vibration, how, what the frequency of the sound wave is, I'm changing the pitch of the sound, right? And so a lot of water in the glass means that when I strike, assuming that you're striking with equal force every time, then it's a lower frequency wave. Right? It's a much lower frequency wave because the, of the addition of the water, so the glass is vibrating smaller. Of course, all of it's microscopic vibrations. It's not as if we can see any of it. But, uh, but it's a good illustration of that practical um, piece. And so those are good um, grammar pieces to talk about to remind your students about, about sound waves. Sound waves are very much like um, the ocean waves. They're very much like light waves that we really can't see in our practical um, everyday kind of um, life. Um, but we, we do have um, illustrations um, and, and a basic understanding uh, of the properties of waves. Things like the frequency, the amplitude, um, the, the, the peak and the trough, all of that grammar is good to review um, and to remind um, your, your students with. Okay, so now, why adjust the levels of water? So I adjust the levels of water because I, I want to produce um, a little bit better sound. 
I know that it's ancient history at this point, the joy of tin whistle uh, and music in your community. But I know that everyone truly enjoys it and loves the tin whistle. And I'm happy to tell you that in this semester, with this experiment, we can bring back a small element of the tin whistle. And that's why I adjusted these levels of water. I suggest you go back to Mary Had a Little Lamb. Mary Had a Little Lamb. And so we can play, your students can play Mary Had a Little Lamb using our bottle organ, like this. Right? Close enough that you can recognize it. In fact, is it as good as, as the local Metropolitan Symphony? Probably not. But if it is, post a comment because I might show up just to hear it. Uh, however, is it better than a bunch of ABC Darians who've never used a tin whistle before as they're trying to learn? Yes, I, I think it is. It, it should at least be recognizable. And so when I first set this experiment up, I had to adjust the level of water in order to produce something that's close. Now clearly my, my bottle organ is not in the key of D major <laughs> or C major, something that would be easy to recognize Mary Had a Little Lamb with, but it's close enough that your students can recognize it and the adults can recognize it, uh, right? And so it's a lot of fun. Uh, and so that's a simple song. If you have a different song that's, that, that's of the same kind of caliber, or if you have really advanced students uh, and they, they love the music piece, uh, and you want to add something else, th then go for it, is what I would say. But if you have six uh, uh, glasses, which is what Van Cleve recommends, then you can do quite a bit with it. If you need more, just add more glasses uh, or more containers uh, and, and more, more water. Um, this is a, a fun experiment. This is a good practical demonstration, again, about sound waves uh, and how we can make them by making objects vibrate and how we can change that vibration, that frequency, and thus the pitch that our ears hear uh, by adding water to it. Um, this is Cycle 2, Week 15 Science, uh, number 164, Bottle Organ.